guys, it's your girl Goldie and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys some of the most common misconceptions about locks. Yeah, we're debunking that today because, okay, the main reason why I want to make this video is because a lot of people want to get locks but don't because they believe in this bull crap. I don't know who started this, but it's not true. So I'm going to tell you guys the most common misconceptions that I hear about locks. They just, they lies, y'all. Number one is that you cannot wash your starter locks. I don't know who said that. I know who told you couldn't get them wet. I know who told you couldn't wash them, but you can. Honestly, it kind of helps your hair lock even faster, even better. So go ahead and wash your starter locks. Go ahead and wash your coils, your twist, and let them lock up. Of course, I'm not telling you to go over here and run your fingers through your coils. Yeah, don't do that. But you can wash your hair. You can get them wet, okay? <laughs> The next misconception that I, I don't know where this came from, and I've heard it too many times, is the fact that the dirtier your hair is, the more it grows and the better it grows. No. Wash your locks, please. <laughs> please wash your hair. Do not not wash them because it's gonna go. Don't do that. That's not how hair works. Your hair needs to be clean. You gotta get all of that gunk out of your hair so it can grow. Okay, because honestly, the dirtier your hair is, the more buildup that you'll have, and it does nothing but hurt your locks. So, yes, let's wash our hair, okay? The next thing is that you can still use regular hair products. Now, I'm not going to say that that in itself is a complete lie, but there are a lot of products that you would maybe use if you weren't locked that you should not be using if you are locked. So, for example, like petroleum-based products i mean you really shouldn't be using that period but you really shouldn't be using them on your locks at all let me tell you guys why so basically what petroleum does it's almost like a thick base that your hair does not absorb your skin does not absorb it so for example if i was to use like an oil like a jojoba oil or a castor oil my my body is going to absorb that and it's going to do what it needs to do petroleum it's going to sit there it's not going to go anywhere and it's hard to get out, to fully get out, it's hard to do so. So with you having locks, you really don't wanna use any products like that because they can get trapped in your locks and it's, just, it's not good, it's not good. The next misconception is that locks are just maintenance free, like you don't have to do nothing to them. They are low maintenance, but they are not maintenance free. I will say I do a lot less work with my locks than I did when I wasn't locked, but you still have to put in that time and that tender loving care for your locks. It's not just, maintenance free you still have to do some type of maintenance if you want to have nice healthy locks the next thing is that you have to go to a lock titian and then to piggyback off of that it's that you can just go to regular cosmetologists and they will know about locks so i'm going to go with the first one that i said which is that you need to go to a lock titian you do not have to deal with a lock titian in order to have healthy locks um, but if you do want to seek professional help, not every cosmetologist knows about locks. Not every cosmetologist can help you with your lock journey. So if you do need expert advice, go to a loctician. But you do not always need expert advice in order to grow your locks, if that makes sense. The next thing isn't, well, I don't know what's going on with the lighting. My room just got really, really bright. I'm going to kind of dim it just a little bit. Okay. I dimmed it a little too much. The lighting is weird. I don't know what happened. Anyways, the next thing isn't really a misconception. It's just something that I feel needs to be said. Do not expect your locks to look sleek and nice all the time because that's not what they're supposed to do. When your hair is locked, your hair is going through its own journey. Your hair is allowed to do what it wants to do, meaning your hair is not going to always be tamed and sleek. And I need to turn the brightness back up. It's not always going to be tamed and sleek. It's going to have days where it looks unruly because it is unruly. It's locks. That's what they are. If you go on your lock journey, please know that you cannot always um, have your hair do what you want it to do. Because it ain't going to be like that all the time. So if you're going into your lock journey, make sure that you are expecting the unexpected and that you are going to love the unexpected because it's your hair. The next thing is, I don't know why people use scissors to trim their locks. Don't do that. 
don't trim your frizz with scissors let me tell you guys why if you trim your locks with scissors all it's going to do is change the consistency of your locks the more that you do it so you really don't want to get into a habit of doing that if you have frizz take some of your locking cream and palm roll your locks just to get it sleek if you want them to like be a little bit less frizzy but do not trim your frizz with scissors the next misconception is that there is an ugly stage now i know what stage everyone talks about when they go like oh i'm in my ugly face i'm in my ugly stage and i said the same thing like oh i'm in my ugly stage but there isn't an ugly stage it's just your beginning stage and i feel like having the term ugly stage kind of makes people not want to get locks because it's like oh i don't want to go through the ugly stage i don't want to go through the ugly phase it's just your beginning process and honestly the process and the journey of having locks is so amazing and it's something that you want to see so don't take it as your ugly stage just call it your beginning stage and look at it as the journey that it is the next misconception and the last misconception is that you can't use conditioner please use conditioner because locks need moisture locks need a lot a lot a lot of moisture you guys your hair can dry out with locks just make sure that if you are using conditioner that you're rinsing it out thoroughly you're squeezing out your locks making sure that all of it is getting out because it can cause a buildup but as long as you're treating your hair properly you can definitely use conditioner and you should use conditioner all right that was my video i hope you guys learned something from it i hope you guys got something from it and if i cleared up anything that was making you hesitant about getting lux then go ahead and get them tag me in your pictures if you guys do decide to get lux and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys